Good Thursday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversations Daily News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Well, we made it over the hump, and we're in the home stretch toward the weekend. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up today. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Zaganovich. And today, in the entertainment spotlight, we have some news you can use. Dr. LaShawn McEver from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services dropped by Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk to us about a special enrollment period for those who don't have insurance. You'll be in part of that today. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with their Thursday headlines. In Mississippi news, the Mississippi State Department of Health reported 684 new COVID-19 cases and 23 additional deaths. That means in Mississippi, there are now 289,398 COVID-19 cases and 6,524 coronavirus-related deaths in the state since March of 2020. As we've been reporting all this week, COVID-19 vaccination appointments have been rescheduled because of hazardous weather conditions in Mississippi. The appointments will automatically be rescheduled and individuals will be notified by a phone message, text, or email about the rescheduled appointment. In national news, power outages linger for millions as another ice storm looms. Utility crews raised Wednesday to restore power to nearly 3.4 million customers around the United States who were still without electricity in the aftermath of a deadly winter storm and another blast of ice and snow threatened to sow more chaos. The latest storm front was expected to bring more hardship to states that are unaccustomed to such frigid weather. Parts of Texas, Arkansas, and the lower Mississippi Valley before moving into the northeast later on today. There's really no let up to some of the misery people are feeling around the area, says a lead forecaster with the National Weather Service referring to Texas. More than 100 million people live in areas covered by some type of winter weather warning, watch or advisory, the Weather Service said. More than two dozen people have died in the extreme weather this week, some while struggling to find warmth inside their homes. In the Houston area, one family succumbed to carbon monoxide from car exhaust in their garage. Another parish is they used a fireplace to keep warm. Record low temperatures were reported in city after city. Scientists say the polar vortex, a weather pattern that usually keeps to the Arctic, is increasingly spilling into lower latitudes and sticking around longer, and global warming caused by humans is partly responsible. In more COVID-19 news, Native Americans embrace vaccine virus containment measures. While minority communities around the United States have struggled to trust the vaccine, the opposite is true for the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, a Native American tribe of 16,000 in western North Carolina, and other tribes across the country, which were also quick to adopt coronavirus prevention measures. The Federal Indian Health Service said Tuesday that it has administered nearly 385,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines, at a rate of about 18,490 per 100,000, that's higher than all but five U.S. states, according to an Associated Press analysis of federal data. The trend owes itself both to a harsh reality, Native Americans and Alaska Natives are four times more likely to be hospitalized from COVID-19, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and Tradition. Community before self has long been a core principle in Native American culture. In business news, U.S. retail sales jumps 5.3% thanks to $600 stimulus checks. Those $600 stimulus checks got Americans shopping again. After three months of decline, retail sales soared a seasonal adjusted 5.3% in January from the month before, the U.S. Commerce Department said on Wednesday. It was the biggest increase since June and much larger than the 1% rise Wall Street analysts had expected. The $600 stimulus checks sent out at the very end of last year pushed people to buy new furniture, clothing, and appliances. How long spending will continue without more stimulus checks remains to be seen. Retail sales slumped in the last three months of 2020 as stimulus money dried up. Job growth was non-existent, and a surge in virus cases kept people away from stores during the critical holiday shopping season. In fact, the Commerce Department said Wednesday that December's drop was actually larger than it first reported, revised to be down 1% instead of a decrease of 0.7%. And finally, in entertainment news, 
Rush Limbaugh, voice of American conservatism, has died. Rush Limbaugh, the talk radio host who ripped into liberals and laid waste to political correctness with a captivating brand of malice that made him one of the most powerful voices in politics, influencing the rightward push of American conservatism and the rise of Donald Trump, died on Wednesday. Limbaugh said a year ago that he had lung cancer. His death was announced on his show by his wife, Catherine. Bombastically self-promoting and larger than life, Limbaugh galvanized listeners for more than 30 years with his talent for sarcastic, insult-laced commentary. He called himself an entertainer, but his gleeful rants during his three-hour weekday radio show broadcast on nearly 600 U.S. stations shaped the national political conversation, swaying ordinary Republicans and the direction of their party. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Taganovich. Enjoy. Hi. This is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Relationships are important. Your relationships with people are important. So become willing to make an effort to cooperate. Peace begins within each and every one of us. As we achieve our inner peace, this attitude and feeling of peace will spread outward to our relationships. There are always ways to work things out with those closest to you. As long as that is your choice, and you are safe. This sense of peace you find within will then have a ripple effect into your other activities and other relationships. You can choose to see the world as family, an extended family, as you share your peace and joy. Today, make an effort to find your peace within yourself. Now share this peaceful feeling with your family, friends, and others. Enjoy the day. As I mentioned, Dr. LaShawn McEver is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight. We're here on Conversations Daily News. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Dr. LaShawn McEver from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services dropped by Conversations Live, the radio show this week, to talk to us about the healthcare.gov special enrollment period that's going on Here's a bit of our conversation. This is an issue, of course, when it comes to the pandemic. A lot of people are thinking about the challenges they face when it comes to health care. For those who may have missed out on the open enrollment, how long will this special enrollment period for healthcare.gov be going on? So consumers will have between now to May 15th of this year to apply for coverage through healthcare.gov to take advantage of the special enrollment period. Is this open for anybody, Dr. McKeever, or or is it a certain group that can take advantage of this special enrollment period? Um, Anyone who's looking for health insurance at this time can take advantage of this opportunity to look for coverage and see if they qualify for financial assistance. So you don't need to provide any documentation of a qualifying event. A qualifying event, so that's something such as a loss of a job or birth of a child, which is typically required for a special period of eligibility. Um, You know, we recognize that many people have lost work or were furloughed in the past year and are simply waiting for their next job to get health insurance, but they don't necessarily have to wait. So that's why the uh, the special enrollment period is a perfect time for them to get coverage. You know, that, I'm so glad you mentioned that about the financial help, Dr. McGeever, because that is an issue a lot of people think about when it comes to health care. They wonder if they can afford it. So where can people go to be able to apply for this coverage and to see if they qualify for the financial assistance? Um, so you can apply for this coverage at healthcare.gov. Um, financial help is available. Uh, anyone seeking to take advantage of the special enrollment period, as I said, can go to healthcare.gov to apply and see if they're eligible for financial assistance. Nine out of 10 people who are currently enrolled receive financial assistance and 75% of them could purchase a plan for $50 or less per month after financial assistance. For more information, make sure you all go to healthcare.gov. Again, that's healthcare.gov. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We'll be able to get on tomorrow to wrap up this week. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make it a great one.